Hey guys, this is Roz, and I have been tagged by RDP Project, Rob, um, and I have to show my two favorite knives, and if you go and look at his video, he actually made his own knives and made his knife sheath. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous work, Rob. You really did a great job. So I thought about it today. I own, yeah, you're right, I do have some knives. I have a dozen, maybe less, but I thought about, well, what do you mean by my two favorite knives? And what I came up with is... If someone was going to take all my knives and I got to keep two of them, which are the two I keep, okay? So here they are. Here's the first one. This is a Blind Horse Knives Workhorse Knife. I got this for Christmas, I, I can't remember, maybe two or three years ago. Out of all my knives, i got to tell you the real truth, I've never used this. I think this is so beautiful, I won't use it. This is my collector piece. I actually keep it on a shelf in the kitchen. And when I'm alone, everybody leaves the house, I'll go and I'll pick up this blind horse knife in this beautiful leather sheath. And I'll take it out and I'll look at it and I'll touch it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's so beautiful. Look how little it is. It's pretty small. Uh, it's a very thick blade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thick blade. It's got these wooden handles. The workhorse, too. And, and this, this sheath is just gorgeous. I know in, with use it would soften up, but I kind of don't want it to soften up. What's this little nick? Oh, it's okay. has a, a loop there for your belt. But I'm, I'm telling you, I keep it on a shelf in my kitchen, and I admire this thing. I think it is just so beautiful. It feels good in my hand. And if someone were going to take all the knives out of my house, they cannot have this one. This is mine. You can't have it. The other one, I, I had to dig the, the box up. I still have the box. If you could see the word shun there. this is, I think the line of knives, I could be wrong, is called the shun by none other than, let's get some good light on here, a four-inch Ken Onion chef's knife. I know you guys like knives to keep in your pocket or your car or your pack or whatever, but I'm telling you something. Life ain't right unless you got a good kitchen knife. All right, so here you go. This is it. This is my kitchen knife. It is one of a set that you can purchase. These things are really expensive. I think this knife alone was like a hundred bucks, but I'm telling you, dudes carry knives, but women use knives every single day. So if your wife thinks you're weird for carrying a knife, buy her a lovely, beautiful kitchen knife. Ken Onion, Damascus Steel, 4 inch, wait, 4 inch what? 4 inch blade. This handle's also about 4 inches, so I guess let's say it's all 8 inches in total. This thing is so sharp and so beautiful. Look at, look at this handle. I'm sorry I don't have any information about it. Every time I go to the knife shop, he, he has the rest of the set there I ask him about it. I can never quite retain the information. <laughs> but it's the Shun um line of knives and this handle is just gorgeous fits in your hand just right and actually i am cooking dinner and uh i think it was tony nathan wait a minute i don't want that tony nathan on twitter was saying roz i want to see you cook well i'm not much of a cook but you know i can cook some things but you know if you have the right tools any job is fun and i use my ken onion Shun 4 inch kitchen knife. Now I'm just going to dice this a little bit. We're just making a little stir fry, a nice pile of vegetables. Um, we're just trying to eat a little healthier. And I'm not going to have any carbs with my dinner. I'm going to have salmon and veggies. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Do you have the right tools? You can do anything. A nice, beautiful knife in the kitchen is just glorious. I should cut like this weird stuff out. Shake some of those seeds out. Yeah, so just trying to eat healthier. Actually, I always do eat healthy, but um, what I'm doing different this summer is I'm trying not to eat carbs. I'm not eating pasta or rice or breads or cereals or anything, they're kind of, they kind of just make me fat. <laughs> I don't have much of a problem with other types of foods, but uh, I do like my carbs. And so, having some uh, salmon and red pepper. You know, I was reading a book. Whoops. Are we cool? 
I just read a book called A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson, and it's about an author that hikes the Appalachian Trail with his friend, or you know, they hike some of the Appalachian Trail. These are portobello mushrooms. These are really tasty, and they're really good in um, eggs as well. Actually, this same stir fry that I'm making here, uh, or I'm just sauteing them really. Uh, it's good in eggs in the morning as well. So any leftovers we have here tonight, I'll just, uh, I want to put these in this bowl. I'm actually not going to saute this yet. It would have sounded nice to um, saute this for you guys. I didn't really make, <laughs> intend to make a cooking video. I just wanted to show you my knife. But you know what, guys? Um, it's getting late in the evening here. I have to cook dinner. <laughs> hey, uh, Raj Jr.? Junior, <laughs> are you going to come in and do your, your two knives for Mr. Rob, sure RDP thing. project? I'd love to. Did you see his knives this morning that I showed you? Oh, yeah, they were beautiful. Yes, he hand makes his own knives. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one more thing I, I want to show them, jalapeno pepper. Even if people say they don't want jalapeno, you got to put jalapeno in your stuff. Take the seeds out. The seeds take out the spice. If you don't want just if you just want your tiny bit of spice, put one seed in. It takes out the heat, doesn't it? Right. But I'm telling you, it just gives food pizzazz. Oh, so as I was saying about the book, remember the book we were listening to? We'll walk in the woods. And his friend was saying, you know, all I eat is TV dinners all the time, and I come home every night and I eat TV dinners. Well, all you need to do is buy a pepper, an onion, a jalapeno, a couple of mushrooms. Put it in a pan with some olive oil, stir fry them up while your meat or your piece of fish is in the oven, baking or broiling, or whatever. That's it. You're done. Like 20 minutes later, you're done. You got food. Um, here I have a case because I liked it because it says, what do we have here? Because it's a surprise. You don't know what my two favorite knives are. All right. Well, first we have here is the Spider Co. Bug. Um, I like how it is. Put it right here. I think they could so, see it here. You know, I'll, I'll do this so you can put it I in like here. how it is so small. And you can always put it in your pocket. It has two holes where you can put something in it. Put your knife right there so they can see your knife. And here it looks open. It's a little bigger, but um, it's pretty big. Mm. Yeah. How many inches is that thing? Um, I put it next to my finger because I know that my finger is three inches long. It's like three inches long, the whole thing. Three inches long. One, two, three. Yeah, like three inches long. Um, I really like it. It's a nice small knife, and if I were to give all my knives away, these are the two that I would keep. <laughs> you keep your bug. Mm -hmm. I have to keep my bug. Yep. And then the next one I show you is this one. I love my Swiss Army knife. I got it before, I mean, after I summited Mount Washington. I loved it in the knife shop, and they said, hmm, if you do something really nice or good or summit a mountain or something, then you can get something like this. And I'm like, thank you. So then I summited it, and I got it. First off, here we have a toothpick. I mean, uh, first off, here we have some tweezers. Um... Then we have a be mindful that your hand might be in the way of their view of then the Then we items. have a tooth, um, tweezers and a toothpick. We also have here a screwdriver. We also have here is a leather poker. Oh, is that like an awl, an AWL, so you can poke a hole in leather, right? Yep. Like if you you need to poke a hole in your belt if you lose weight and you need another hole in your belt, and or maybe you gain weight and need to poke another hole. Or also, um, if you're a horseback rider, you would need that because in the leather stirrup, sometimes you need them so small because your legs are so long. No you need kidding. Another hole. Is that for real? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Um, here we have a big knife. It's kind of sharp. I can sharpen it. Well, yes. when you sharpen a knife, do you go up or down? I go down. Right. So if I were to sharpen this knife, I go down like this. So I'm sharpening this knife right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were going straight across. 
Yes. Um, well, we're going to teach you one day how to sharpen it so it's sharp, but um, Raj Jr. Um, doesn't have sharp knives. They're a little bit flattened out, your edge. Right. For safety. You, you have these knives to learn responsibility, right? Right. Um, but we, we know to not uh, have them sharp so she could get hurt with them. Um, I also have this little knife here. I like how my mom put this power cord on. I like the case. It comes put the case here little, so they can I see. Come with this little thing, and that's for the sharpener. Yeah, that's cool. That's a nice leather case, isn't it? And if you would like to post which two knives from mine you like best, please post it on the wall. And if you like which which knife you like from hers too best, please post it on the wall. Thank you for watching our video. Cha cha.